All right, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Havashai. Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Havashai. Kala Brakta Havashai. Brakta Havashai. Brakta Havashai. The Bible says, The elder apostle, a great milk, and rule will. And since they decide to take to the ox and put to the truth, across the four corners of the earth, to the fear of the power of Yahweh, and shall shatter the hope of the elect. And who the world inwardly call God is named Yahweh. And who the world inwardly call Jesus Christ is named Yahweh Shai. And whether he's really like that consists of a so called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian. All right, it's Mahari Call from the Great Mills of Los Angeles camp. And uh, I'll come back with another lesson. And this was a screenshot of a, a definition of the word Holocaust that was shared in the group chat. And as you can see, because uh, the small hatter, all right, the 1948ers, and they t they'll tell you that, oh, they, uh, they stopped for the Holocaust. Okay? So called, uh, six million of them died. All right, by the hands of the Nazis. Okay, but we, let's check out what the true meaning of the Holocaust means, or Holocaust, the word Holocaust itself means. Okay, all right, Holocaust. All right, Holocaust. All right, Greek hollows, ho plus uh, katos, burnt. A great, so it means a great destruction of life, especially by fire. See that? And we know prophecies, all right, that each all either judgment is gonna be by fire, all right, he's gonna be destroyed, okay. And there's two parts to that as well, all right, because America, all right, Babylon the Great gonna be destroyed by fire, but also him as a nation, he could be destroyed in the kingdom of heaven, all right. So I'm gonna focus on, um, after his time and slavery in the kingdom, all right, since I'm uh, short for time, okay? So when you read up the, uh, let's read this real quick, the Holocaust, all right, or Wikipedia, all right, it was genocide of European Jews during World War II between 1941 and 1945, all right, by Nazi Germany, all right, it's six million. Now, genocide is what? It's the intentional destruction of a people usually defined as an ethnic, national, racial, or religious group in whole or in part, all right? And you're going to, thought Ebu is going to suffer a, a, a real genocide, all right? That he's going to be completely done away with, all right, for through to uh, prophecy, okay? So let's, uh, let's link, all right? Now I have this definition. All right, and the Bible, Donovan Bible Dictionary, okay? Edom, okay? So that's who their true biblical nationality is, is Edom, all right? So the forefather of that is Esau, and they changed to uh, Edom, all right? Mean red, all right? Because they're actually a derivative of red, not white. So that's why we call them the so-called white people. But anyway, Edom figures prominently in the prophetic scripture at the theme of great future judgment. See that? See notably Isaiah 34 and 5, 6, 63 and 1. And that's talking about uh, on this side, okay? All right, after uh, they're going to be destroyed by ice and being missile, okay? By fire. All right? That could be a, a holocaust, okay? Death by fire. All right, but the real, or I'll say the uh, the Holocaust in its entirety is gonna be in the kingdom of heaven. All right, after they stir their captivity. Okay, it said she is the only neighbor of the Israelite because Edom is neighbor. All right, south of Israel. All right, which is the day uh, Jordan. Okay. She is the only neighbor of the Israelite who was not given any promise of mercy from the Howard. All right. So Esau either get no mercy. All right, from the Lord. But that's why it's gonna be uh, done away with. Okay. Now this is Obadiah. One. And one, now I'm going to jump around. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh concerning Edom, 
all right, so-called white people, all right? The small hatter, nice square eater is part of that, okay? We have heard a rumor from the Lord, which is the report, all right, from the Lord of Thou Shai, and an ambassador is sent among the heathens, all right? And we are the ambassadors, all right, the prophets, all right, that come in the name of and, uh, true fear of Yahweh Thou Shai. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Okay? And that's going to be uh, World War III. Alright? Then after that World War III, we're going to have Esau, he's going to uh, uh, suffer a form of a Holocaust. Alright? By the ICB and Mr. Okay, now we jump down to uh, 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, change shall cover thee. All right, because remember it said, um, shall see what? Future judgment. She is the only neighbor of Israel who was not given any promise of mercy. All right, and we reason why. All right, there's many priests that we can go to, but this is one of them. All right, it said, um, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, chain cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. That's a genocide. When you cut somebody off, you're gonna you're doing away with a whole race of people. Okay? They're gonna be cut off forever. Forever. Alright, it's just it shall blot out. Here it is. Deuteronomy 25 and 17. All right, the point is to 19. Remember that, what, remember what Amalek did unto thee by the way. The Esau is, or the, so Esau knows, all right, the Esau the biblical Esau, they know, all right, the judgment of Esau Edom. All right. And the scripture is, is, is covering key point. All right, key uh, event in history of what they did unto the children of Israel. Okay, remember what Amalek did. Amalek or the 1948ers. All right, or the small hatters. All right, which are of each of, of Edom. Okay. Unto thee by the way where ye were come forth out of Egypt, all right, we were coming out of captivity in Egypt, ancient Egypt, how he met thee by the way and smote the high most of thee by the way, like the high most of thee, even all that were feeble behind thee, when thou wast faint and weary, all right, uh, basically you know, uh, taking out the weak one, all right, and he feared not your howl. Therefore it shall be when the Lord, the Habakkuk shall shine thy power, hath given thee rest from all thy enemy round about in the land with the Lord, the Habakkuk shall shine thy power, giveth thee for inheritance to possess it. And that could be the kingdom of heaven. All right. We're going to possess, all right, these lands. And we're going to take your land too, Edom, you know, with uh, Obadiah cover that as well. That thou shalt blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven, thou shalt not forget it. So you're going to be blot out. Your remembrance on earth will be blot out. And that's going to start by uh, you physically being uh, rid off the earth. Okay? Now back to Obadiah 1. And, um... Uh, Eleven in the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the stranger carried away captive his forces, a foreigner entered into his gate and cast lot upon Jerusalem. Right, they broke up the land. Even thou was as one of them. Yeah, because you in the land now, and you had your hand in, in, in that. But thou should not have looked on the day of thy brother, the day that he became a stranger. Neither should thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. 
neither thou hast spoken proudly in the day of distress. Thou should not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yeah, thou should have not not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity. Okay, nor have laid a hand on their substance in the day of their calamity. Neither should thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. Neither should thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. So you got a lot to pay for. And ultimately, you're gonna pay for that by uh, 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 being uh, done away with. You're gonna you're gonna suffer a holocaust. You are going to suffer a genocide. All right. Yes, you are going to suffer a genocide, a holocaust. Okay. It said. Uh, It said, the day of the Lord in the future. All right, let's cover these scriptures. For the day of the Lord, how much thou shy is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. All right, so you're going to receive double though, Esau. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head, for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink, and they shall follow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall it be delivered. There shall be hope, right, because it, it can be delivered, all right? There shall be holiness, all right, separation. And the house of Jacob shall protect their possessions, all right, because everything belongs to us. All right, and it's the, the, the true holocaust that can go down, all right, the genocide. Verse 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire. So remember what it said? All right, holocaust mean what? A great destruction of light, especially by fire. And Esau Edom is a is is, is a, a, a a life, right? And he's gonna suffer by what? Great fire. All right, you're gonna suffer by fire. Okay. Great destruction. All right. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. So in the northern kingdom and in the, in the southern kingdom, all right, of Israel, they come together and burn you Edomite up, all right. Will will that be a new uh, high holy day for stubble, all right? And they shall kindle in them and devour them, all right. That's the genocide. That's the Holocaust. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. Okay. You look up that Greek word for, uh, the Hebrew word for Esau, basically is, uh, basically no remnant, right? Ain't going to be nobody saved out of that destruction. Every last one of you is going to be destroyed. For the Lord, Yahweh, shall shine, has spoken it. See, so it's the Lord that has spoken it, all right? And his will shall be done, all right? And that's prophecy. That's the future prophecy that haven't took place yet. But it's going to take place in the kingdom of heaven after Esau, Edom, serve out his captivity, all right, for a thousand years in the kingdom of heaven, okay? And like I said, that's going to be the true holocaust, all right? You're going to suffer a genocide by fire, all right? So with that, I'm going to say Tawada Yahweh, Tawada Yahweh Chai, Shalom.